And maybe not this wood. I don't know if this is going to be seen over here, so I just stained a little bit just in case. So good. No regrets. That's so pretty looking. Not to have too much. Just enough. It's just making the rosewood darker, but it's fine. Didn't really show that much. I'm doing my best to get around those frets. By the way, this was a kit. I didn't build this. Not like my usual building videos. This is me putting one together just because I want to learn. And that sounded kind of like I was kind of being snarky, but at the same time, it's true. I want to learn how to do this and do my own sometime. And I'll, I will feature that on the channel one day, and we'll make a video on it. But till then, I'm going to try doing a few of these and, you know, get the idea of the steps. Of course, I'm not going to get to do the steps of actually physically building one. And I, I've done one before, and I've never recorded it. Second one I was going to record, I never recorded it. <laughs> Just, you know, things happen. Sometimes I have uh, projects I do on my own. And it, it, that was one of those, my own projects. Like, I, I do clay sculpting on my own time, sometimes. Just gonna go through and wipe these frets. Look at that, Looks so good. Now, I don't like how that is. I think that's where some super glue is when they put this on. We can't really seem to get that, get rid of that. But it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Nothing to cry over anything. Here's the moment you've probably been all waiting for. Oh, there we go. Well, we're doing a Rickenbacker. Rickenbacker. Woo! Rickenbacker for the win. Yes, I'm actually excited to do this one. I'm very excited to do a Bacher. A Bacher base. A Rickenbacker. But this is not real Rickenbacker, so it's just an off-brand one. This side trim will need a little sand when we're done. It's just really sharp. So we're about to cover this whole thing in green. And if it don't work out, I'm gonna do like uh, the band Yes. I'm gonna do like them, they have an ivory one. I might just paint the whole thing ivory if it just gets ruined. That's fine for what I end up doing. So that's my last resort. And after that, I could just sand it down to try something again. I just won't have any wood grain colors. All right, here we go with the nerve wracking part. Let's just see what it looks like in here. Or in here. I'm very committed to it. Okay, that's not bad looking though. We'll need to um, clean the edge a little bit because I get on there. We'll have to wipe that off. 
it won't stay anyways. It must be where some super glue is in that corner. I don't think I've ever seen a green Rickenbacker, Rickenbacker, or whatever you call it, Rickenbacker. I'm gonna say backer for a bit, but maybe this channel hasn't known it. But I'm, I'm a bass player. That's why I'm doing this one. Um, and I've always wanted one of these, and you know, you don't see really these as much because it's like an old bass. And I don't know really the history on it, but. Usually they're really expensive, and that's what I know, and I can't afford one, so I found this one on Amazon for 200 so I was like, well, well heck, it's only 200 I'll do it, and all I gotta do is assemble it, so it's perfect, because I saw the channel's been going up since we hit 200 and I've been kind of working on other things, strictly games to be exact, you can subscribe to that, I don't know when this video is coming out, it might be at 300 by then. But yeah, I just hit 200. And who knows, it might change over the span of while I'm out here because I just posted a new Bone Lab video. It'll be my third Bone Lab one. It's just really me messing around in Sandbox. It is an M game though, so, you know, there's blood. There's some moments in there. I start beating up characters and it just just kind of horrifying the way it looks now that isn't as bad as I was I was afraid it would end up looking it's not coming off if I just wipe them a little bit maybe it'll look nice it did give like a little bit of a, a nice little light green layer by accident This is somewhat dry, but somewhat not. I think I'm gonna need to put lacquer or top coat on it before it does. We're gonna go ahead and flip it over and do the back. But the progress I've done since last time is I went through and took a very painfully long time to sand off all the green around the edge and sand it down a little bit. And you can't really see it that much because on the white border here with this, but all that is cut out and it makes it look more solid and makes it look like that was already green. And now we're gonna go ahead in the back and dye it. Okay, now we're gonna stain this a beautiful, beautiful gun stock brown. I look forward to this. Anywho, we're gonna do this as a series. Gun stock brown, it's, it's a wood finish. This is whatever this brand says right there. I'm never really just look, yeah. I'm, I'm hyped up, excuse me. I gotta make sure I got rid of all the green in here. Got a lot of green from a moment ago. My hands look like the Hulk. Set that back there. I forgot to put the tape on. Before we do the sides, we gotta take it off. This is just gonna look like a wooden floor basically, but that's fine with me. Once we put the wool back on it, it should give it a different look. It should darken it a little. So the body's drying now, if you saw what, uh, it kind of 
stuff's gonna die out there. So what we got here going on now is we're gonna press in, here's some tools here. We're gonna press in these little knobbies in here. And then we're gonna put in these guys on my tuners and stuff. And once we do that, we can put the little head stock here. That, we got that. Um, let me grab the manual because this is the part where I, I don't wanna mess up and I really wanna do it just once, so. Now, I've, I've done this before um, with some cigar box style guitars. And yeah, uh, <laughs> first one did okay. Second one was horrible. So hopefully that has given me enough um, practice before going into something like this. Because I've never done a bass in my life, or I've never done one this big. So, yeah, okay, here's a, here's a good one. This one's got instructions of how to um, put them together, but this already got some pre-cut holes in the back and stuff, so we don't really have to worry about that. I'm setting this on the jacket because I swear, I think I remember something someone was talking about, um, like they need to, you need to do something about this, probably about the neck and warping. This does have a truss rod in it. This does have a truss rod in it. I did not put that in there, luckily. Um, so th that made me feel a lot better. I thought this was gonna be one solid piece and you just glue it on. I was like, this is gonna sound horrible. Now it's got a feta in there, we can adjust that. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into this little notebook here. It's, if you're uh, building yours and you're watching me, good, that's good. I'm, I'm building the Rickenbacker using this guy's thing on uh, Amazon. If that guy who, this guy here, Watch if this guy here's watching. You know, I like it so far. I like it so far a lot. So I might do some more years. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, like the instructions here, you can tell that this is an older kit because it's got that knob there. We don't have that one here. And some things that was in this one is not in this one. Which it's, it's fine. It's still got all the pieces that cover and everything. It's just not the same shapes as the other which I'm okay with. But yeah, I do plan on the future changing these knobs to something more like a Schecter model, little tuners. Um, but yeah, here we are. So now we're gonna move on to like I was saying, I swapped the page over here, page four, where we're working on the headstock and tuna pegs. Um, it doesn't show that we that they're pressed in just yet. I'm gonna press them in first, and then we're gonna put these in, because we only have four of these, and I've never done bass, I've done guitar, like I've said. Uh, I got some photos of the other one probably put up there, on or on Instagram. I'll, I'll try to remember to put those in the video. But, here we go, I guess. I gotta figure out in this pack which, which one, which screws are the uh, head screws. I think this might be the, um, the pegs, or tuners and stuff so that's where we are now a little nervous a little nervous i should be i'm gonna go pee i shouldn't have told you that but i'm gonna go do that and i'll be right back um so we just guess if we just take these and push them in this is the more nerve-wracking part for me because you gotta line them up and make sure you press them in right sweet mama i can press that in with my thumb I gotta do this really weirdly. All right, so if I'm correct, these don't really go in order, except for the fact that we wanna keep them fast. Um, let's hold it real quick. Yeah, that's right, that's right. I want to get them tight, but I don't want to strip it. All right, well, I've done a little bit, probably since we've been gone. I sanded this because it kept getting dirty, so I fixed it. Sanded that down. 
we dyed the back. There was a little bit of a thing there, but it's fine. So now we've got this beautiful looking piece. We got the emerald green like I wanted. We're gonna actually glue on the neck now. And um, you probably won't see much of this part and because I don't know how much space I have for recording. And this one, I, I gotta really, I really gotta, oh, sorry. I really gotta focus with this one. And I gotta stop thinking about YouTube and think about this because it's a one shot thing here. We gotta glue this in. It's not glue, there's no glue on it right now. We're just testing the fit. Why I'm testing. There we go. Now it's wedged in. Like tap it in. We don't have any gears to put on yet. We're just gonna put this on stuff on it. It makes it look cool. This is all for $200 right here. This is a $200 base that I have now turned into a $1,000 base. After I glued the neck on, I started to assemble the base. 